Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So last episode we have made a start on our new settlement right on this island. So now we have three settlements. We have our original one next to the escape pod. We have Atlantis City which is underwater and also you can see like bits of it sticking out. And we're gonna have this island. And we also discovered farms. You can actually grow plant life in the game. Which is... Pretty incredible, not gonna lie. So what I'm actually gonna try and do today is plant some of this wildlife. So I'm gonna like deposit everything that I don't need into this. And I think I actually have to like take my knife with me and like some of my tools. I think that would be kind of, kind of important if you ask me. So let me assign this to number, oh, they already like auto assigned themselves. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna go and try and harvest something from the island because I saw new plant life on the island, which is pretty cool. So let's see, we're gonna try and grab this thing right here, there's some flowers, like this thing, this purple rattle type thing, we've got some pink mushrooms, hopefully we're not gonna get high off of them, or maybe we will, who knows, is there anything around here, this looks something, oh that's just a pink mushroom, there we go, you can see like they have temporary names because it's all like one word to be used for coding, so the chances are they have been just added to the game. So we're gonna try and plant those and see if they actually go into the little plant pods and the little farming stations that we have. Can I harvest like any of these? Doesn't seem like it. How about this? No, nope, I think that's just the same. Okay, so let's go on the inside and let's try and plant some of these. I hope we can do that. That would be really awesome if we can, if we already have that in the game. Okay, so if I click on this, we can like transfer things over. Oh my god. You can actually grow things. This is so cool right now. So it seems like, hold on. It seems like, oh I think I broke it. So pink mushrooms, you know what, we're gonna take them back. Oh god, they disappeared. That's not very good. Are these all pink mushrooms? We're gonna take away the pink mushrooms. So it seems like you could only have one type of plant per pot so I think what I'm gonna do is just try and harvest as many of the pink mushrooms and the purple stuff as we can because it seemed to be growing every time I put the same kind in the pot so we're gonna try and do it I'm gonna try and quickly collect some of those right so my inventory is pretty much full of all of the plant life that I could harvest from the island. So we're gonna just try and make my way back to our base and it seems like I'm a little bit stuck. Oh, never mind, please. Just wiggle your way around. Wiggle, wiggle until you get out. That is my motto for today. That's a terrible motto. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know why I just said right there. I wasn't thinking when I was saying this, okay? I am sorry. I am sorry. So let's see if my theory is right. Oh. That is cool, so it actually produces a bottle once it's done. Oh, and it gives you salt as well. Isn't that amazing? Oh, look at all these blueprints that I have. I've got the exosuit, you know, I can probably like make that if I want to. That is so cool. I didn't know if, actually, if it would actually make a water bottle for you. Okay, so we're gonna put all the pink mushroom in this. Wait, it's not growing. It's not growing. I think I bugged it. It's a pink mushroom. That's the purple stuff. Purple rattle. Okay. It doesn't seem to work like I think it did. Nope. It's definitely not growing. But can we put stuff in here as well? Oh my god. We can. We can actually grow things. Look at that. That is awesome. I wish like the, the more you put in, the more this got filled up. That doesn't seem to be the case. But maybe in the final version. Oh. That kind of bugged. Wait, did I put the pink stuff in it? I think I did. Oh god. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh yes, I did. I put a pink mushroom in it. So, that's kind of stuck now. That's uh, gonna be there for a while. Can we put like lithium in here? No, we cannot. Okay. Also, what I wanted to have a look at today was the big farm that you can place down. So, we're gonna try and make one of those on the surface if we have like a, a large enough area. It's quite dark, so we won't be able to see it very well, but let's try Anyway, that's the shelf, that's the farming tray. Oh, that's the big one, isn't it? 
There we go. That looks nice. So it seems like you just have, you just need a lot of space to make this thing. So I already made like two rooms in the previous episode. So we're going to try and turn those into two farms. And I think that's going to look pretty awesome. So I just have to find my way onto them, which shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. I think it's one more down. No, I went up. That's not very good of me. Okay, so come down again. Did I make my way down? I did. Fantastic. So let's see if we can make two awesome farms here as well. So I think we're going to have like a water purification thing in here as well, just to make it more interesting. And maybe just have it so it makes a little bit of sense to have some sort of like a water source, like a fresh water source to grow the plants. That would be pretty cool. So we're going to place one of the, which one is it? The box. So we're going to place a box in this corner right here. There we go. No, I don't want to place anything on the inside of it. Thank you very much. And we're going to place another one of the boxes on this side. There we go. Just like align myself nicely. That works very well. And now we have like this path in between. We're going to place some pots like on each side. Oh, damn it. This is quite annoying. I have to be super careful with this. Damn it! It opens up the inventory every single time I place it. Stop it! Please! I beg you! No! I had enough. I had enough of you. I had enough of shits and giggles, alright? Alright? We're gonna place a bench. Why not? Let's have like two benches on each side. I think that'll look pretty awesome. So let's add another one to this side. Just to add a little bit more detail. We're gonna have a, a nice small locker up here so we can store some of the supplies and we're gonna have another one on this side which I think is gonna look pretty awesome we're gonna have the water purification machine which should be around here somewhere there we go so we're gonna place it there which looks awesome we're gonna place two windows on each side of this thing and I think we're wait can we do windows there we can but do I want to do that that is the question Hmm, probably not. You're not, we're not gonna do that. But what I'm gonna do is place some of these shelves up here as well. So let's see how many we can fit. We can fit one there. No, don't open it up. Thank you. So we can fit one. We can fit them like right next to each other. But I wanna kind of fit them in those little like marked out areas. You know, those like little lines that go around. I kind of want them to be symmetrical and nice looking. So we're gonna place another one of those shelves like in the middle slightly higher than the other two just a, just by a tiny amount there we go that looks pretty cool look how awesome this looks already i like it i like it a lot actually i think it looks pretty cool where did i go where did i put my tool there we go so we've got another one of those boxes wait can we stack the boxes oh it would be so cool to have like some sort of a shelf farming tray that's the big one that's a pot, box, shelf, you know, not like this shelf, but what I mean by that is uh, kind of like a rack. If you know what I'm saying, that you would find in like a storage space or something to put things on or, or like in a, in a shed or a garage. That would be pretty awesome to have. So let's have another one up here, like in between the two. There we go. Fantastic. And another one on this side right there. So hold on, let's kind of measure it out so it's the same level that should do it so let's construct it let's get out of the menu that looks pretty cool so far that looks pretty awesome I like it so we're gonna place some more pots if we can so we're gonna place a pot on this side so we're gonna add like three pods should we or should we do like another one closer to the purification station purification station that's what we're gonna call it from now on Oh, that sounds cool. And look at this. There's a sunrise right now, which looks really beautiful. So you know what this calls for? A cheeky screenshot. So I'm going to just like stand here and I'm going to place, press F11. I think that takes a screenshot, right? Possibly. Here we go. That kind of worked. We took a few screenshots. I think we have to actually do the picture frame. So if we place it like here, and let's see. It did work! Fantastic! So I can like upload this and like add it to Steam as well as a screenshot. That looks pretty awesome. I like it. Look at this place! Doesn't this just like look amazing to you guys? I think it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna have another pot out here. There we go. 
Oh, it didn't like open up the inventory. That's nice for a change. We're gonna have a workbench on this side and we're gonna have a workbench on this side as well. Or to make things a little bit more interesting, we're gonna use the fragment analyzer that we're gonna place like, let's see. Can we just like place it here? That'll look pretty cool. I like it, I like it, it can stay. So we're gonna do a, what can we do? We can do a sign. Let's do a sign that says like farming or something. Right there, or we have to actually put it there. I don't know where we can actually place it. it doesn't seem to go like above the door, which is quite a shame. So you know what, let's just not place a sign at all. Let's add another pot, which is gonna go on this side. And that should look pretty cool. I like it. So we have a little nice looking farming station. And just look how detailed this looks now. It, it just, oh, it's just beginning to come to life. Like they're adding decorational pieces, but they also serve purpose, these things. I think what they need to add next is much bigger rooms. Because these circular rooms, they're nice, they're really awesome, but at the same time, you need more kind of rectangular ones to be able to make proper cool looking farms. I added some of the plant life from the island to some of these pots and it looks so awesome. I like it. I like it a ton. I like how they move as well. Just imagine having like a massive greenhouse underwater. Just imagine that for a second. Massive room made out of glass and just farms. Farms as far as the eye can see. Game developers get on that. That would be absolutely amazing if you could add that. And we have like another indoor swimming pool as we always tend to do. Is this bit underwater? I think it kind of is. Oh wait, no it's not. No it's not, never mind. Whoa. That looks a bit trippy. That looks weird. Because you have the water. Oh my god. <laughs> looks so cool. I like it. I like it but at the same time it's like what the hell? What, what happened? Where did this game go wrong? Where did it all go wrong? So what we're gonna do, first of all, is whip out my trusty old tool and we're gonna make another one of the rooms that it's just gonna go down. So we're gonna place a few of them. And in case you guys don't remember, we are using the Bob the Builder tool, which basically reduces a ton of the lag. Oh, look how cool that looks, how it connects making it seem like it's one big structure. I actually like that a lot. I think we're gonna do something with that. That looks pretty cool. So let's add another room down here to make it more symmetrical. Then we're gonna add a few windows on each side. I, I like how the lag is slowly catching up with us. Oh God, I thought it was gone for good, but it's back. It's back and it's stronger than it ever was before. When I say it's stronger, it's not really. It, it's about the same. So let's add maybe like another one. We need more at the top. We need more viewing platforms. So do we want to do like a glass corridor that is going to go in between? How does that look? Is that a bit too much? I'm not sure. I quite like it, but at the same time, I'm just not sure about it. So we're going to add two more hatches on each side to make it look cooler. And what else? We need more stuff on the surface, I feel like. Because this is supposed to be kind of like an island build. We need something to do with that tower over there. And hold on, I see the water purification thing like comes out on the other side as well. You can see that little black stripe. That's interesting. So you can probably use that for some decorational pieces or some sort. Some sort of stuff. Some sort of stuff like that, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. Maybe you guys can let me know. And I was gonna like try and turn it into a song. It didn't very work very well, did it? Let's see. I like this thing, how it's just under the surface, this glass corridor. It makes it look so, like some sort of a, a water theme park. It's like these sun rays that pop through because of the <laughs> because of the water that is right above us. We need more of a viewing platform. So what I'm gonna try and do right now is build up one of the towers. I, I think we're gonna try and build up the main tower to make it look more awesome and more prominent. I'm not sure if I wanna use these, the X connectors, the X corridors to do that. I don't know, we're gonna find out. So let's see, how would that look actually if I placed one of those up there? Can I even do that? I don't think I would be able to, can I? Hmm. 
That's a bit of a bummer. If only. Wait. It flashed for a second. It happened for a split second. Whoa, what's going on right now? Being like teleported all over the place. Oh no, we're falling down. This is not what I wanted to happen. This is definitely not what I wanted. Hmm. I don't know what I want to add to this place anymore. Because I don't want to make it over the top. I want it to be kind of grounded in a way. What we could do is add like a Cyclops docking bay. Another one of those. Or, you know what would be cool? I actually know what we're going to do. Which is going to be a bit of both. It is going to be a Cyclops docking bay. And at the same time, it's going to be just like a cool corridor that is going to come out here. So we're going to have like this going. Out there. So it's going to be like a really long corridor. It's going to come out to there. That looks pretty cool. So we're going to add another room at the end here. So one there and one... Should we add one underwater as well? Yeah, let's add... Should we just add three underwater? I think that look, would look pretty cool. Just like that. And then we're gonna add another glass corridor that is gonna come out to here. And then it's gonna have a window out here. So it's not gonna connect. It's gonna be more of a kind of like a viewing platform. Make it look a little bit different. So we're gonna add another one of the glass corridors up there. Nope, not here. Not here. Definitely not here. Whoops. Let me just get rid of that. So we're gonna try and place it again. So we're gonna add one. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. It's kind of tricky to see with the water bug where this is gonna be placed, but we're making progress, so it's good. It's all good. So another one there, and let's add another one right here at the very end. There we go. And then we can make the room. Is it the room now? I think it's time for the room. So we're gonna add one of those at the end. And once again, we're gonna kind of bring it down a little bit, like so. Looks pretty cool. So we're gonna add another one of the glass corridors on this side. And we're gonna add this thing. Where's the window? Wait, should we do the hatch? No, because we have, have hatches over there. So we're gonna do another window. Which is gonna look cool. There we go. So also, should we do like windows up there? Why not? Let's just do it. Right guys, so there you have it. I went into the free cam mode to ha kind of have a get better look at how this looks. And I think it turned out pretty good. I think this was a successful episode. So in the future, we can add some more decorational pieces and you guys can suggest what we can do in the future. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I hope you're gonna have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. So take care and goodbye. Bye-bye-bye-bye!